15 to 25 the opportunity to find out about careers behind the scenes. So that's everything from stage management, to lighting, to design, to makeup, to marketing, to fundraising, you name it, it's everything behind the scenes. So a great emphasis on the people, that, of the, I guess the unsung heroes, the people that aren't in the limelight but who are absolutely vital uh, to the creation of theatre. It's a chance to explore a whole range of opportunities and you may think you want to be a set designer but you may go to a workshop on wardrobe or armory or uh, journalism and I think it's that chance to really find out what, what the opportunities are. The main thing is you've got to be passionate about the theatre, you've got to love the theatre, want to see the theatre um, and that you know really getting stuck in. This is an incredibly special thing. It's, it's become one of the most important events of the year in the theatre world, and um, I just wanted to make sure that absolutely everyone that was attending really made the most of it and wrote everything down and spoke to as many different people as possible. It could be one of the best days of their lives. So. Masterclass is the organisation that uh, launched Theatrecraft uh, back in 2003, and it's really exciting to see how the event has grown since then. Um, started out quite small at the Haymarket, then grew a little bit, moved to the, uh, the uh, Coliseum. And now here we are for our second year at the Royal Opera House. It's one of our very beautiful and one of our oldest theatres. And to bring young people into this building, I think, is another wonderful part of the day. The audience for Theatre Crafts is exactly the audience that we've been trying to reach anyway. And audience, I mean that in terms of the general public, not in terms of our, our traditional audience. Um, because um, we've run a lot of, we have run an apprenticeship scheme, we have work experience programme, um, and we have a general mission to, to, to make our work more diverse and more, more available to people. Um, and those are exactly the people that are coming to Theatre Crafts, so it was a no-brainer, really. We're the only organisation that does an event like this, um, and it's free, you know, so people can come, they can get the knowledge that they want uh, without feeling intimidated. I think it's a unique opportunity to get the kind of exhibitors together in one place who are going to just focus on them. We support young people getting into careers within the creative and cultural sectors, so that covers um, theatre, music, design, jewellery and heritage. So um, Theatre Flat is a great example of the way we support people getting into those careers. We're very passionate about being involved in this and promoting careers for young people because they really are the lifeblood of the future theatre makers and theatre thinkers of the future. I think more people have come in general, you know, there's more attendees in general, but also there's more there's more business people here, there's more creative professionals here talking to people about opportunities in theatre and about potential career career paths. It broadens your mind because a lot of people don't realise that they can specialise in something small. A lot of people think that you have to do design and making or you have to do stage management and production whereas actually a lot of these institutions you can narrow your field down and you can actually specialise in just the specific that you want and I think something like this just gives you that opportunity and widens your knowledge and gives you the confidence to know that there are there are people that work in this industry and that there are universities that are help you going to find that job. I'm just really drawn to it because it's it's not very often that you get an opportunity to come so close to professionals like this. Today I was specifically looking at uh, stage management or the technical theatre side of things um, and I've been to a stage management talk already um, I'm going to one later on um, and I've spoken to a few people in the marketplace as well and they're all willing, they're all happy to just stand and chat to you about any, uh, any questions you have and uh, why they're there, what they, offer, what they can offer you. I am always on the lookout for work experience, I'm always on the lookout for any type of anything that I can put on a CV basically so I'm just walking around just introducing myself to as many people as I can, networking as much as I can. If you have a broad education and a broad knowledge of the different elements well then you know you can specialise maybe if, you, if I didn't get into writing I could get into lighting which is something I love doing because it's involved in theatre. It's very easy to send a lot of emails around that don't really get across your passion and your dedication but when you're actually face to face with someone using your arms and jumping up and down they, they kind of get to realise that you are very serious about what you're talking about and you're not sending around a generic email. You might not be centre stage but you can get into what you love doing through theatre. Each theatre piece is a massive machine and every single person plays an absolutely crucial part in it. Um, so as a director, as an actor, as the people that are perhaps, I guess, um, more public figures, um, you're nothing without those people backstage.